Okay. Next game. <laughs> Ooh, except I think you're actually going to like this one. Or at least oh, okay. this is a game that's really <laughs> special to me. Uh, but not many people know about it. And that is Bomberman Hero for the Nintendo 64. Interesting. I... Oh, wait. Does that have any relation to Bomberman Generations? Or am I thinking of a completely different game? It's that's a really tough question. It depends on in what way you mean related. Uh is it the same game, but like a different name in No. Okay. Fair enough. I no, I just I knew of Bomberman Generations. Um and I didn't know if that was an N sixty four game or not. Uh that is a GameCube game, I believe. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, because we, we looked into, we stupidly looked at, you know, Pokemon Generations went so well and it died a, a big, long, painful death. We uh, we looked into doing other games with Generations in the name as parody <laughs> videos, just like every April Fool's, just were like, well, it's not Generations, but it's a different Generations. And uh, well, That's great. And I think it that it's happened. actually amazing how long uh, you kept Pokemon Generations going for, and it was a cool series. Yeah, it's not like it, it died just... after like two episodes or something. It went on for like over thirty episodes, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it had thirty six in the end, and we do have a finale planned. It just that fell apart massively. It was actually ready to um to uh like we were gonna do it for the tenth anniversary, but it just never came to be, unfortunately. Bomber man hero. I it's so weird. Like, don't know what I'm in for. Bomber man, when you think of him. There's like one type of game that Bomberman can be, but hmm. this game tries to break that and turns it into like a platforming adventure, which I respect. Did it sell well? Or? I don't think it did very well. It's like not well known. I've never heard anyone other than me talk about this game yet. I grew up with it, and just a few years ago I went back and 100% did it again, and I just had such a fun time. So cool. through the use of you, I'm going to spread knowledge of this game. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. I like this little robot. We need to tell Bomberman and his friends right away. We need to tell them that there's a game of Bomberman and his friends. Because <laughs> no one knows, were, apparently. There were also the uh, Bomberman 64 games on Nintendo 64, obviously. Uh, but they were quite different, where they weren't platformers, and they were just more kind of puzzle-styled games, like I guess Bomberman usually is. But yeah, mm. this one goes like full-on Mario 64 with collectibles and all that. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so... Is it actually trying to be a Mario 64 clone? It's not open world. You, you choose your levels from a list, but other than that, like, it definitely controls and feels like Mario 64-ish, where obviously, I mean, you're not wall jumping and stuff, but in the, in the sense of throwing bombs and such, it almost feels like the closest you'll ever get to maybe like a real Mega Man game on the Nintendo 64 in a way. Interesting. Well, let's go Planet Bomber. With my... Oh, I thought for a second we were going to choose our area. Wait, what? Oh my god, there's so many There's so many things. I'm very confused. So, planet level room. Cool. This is interesting. I'm... It just starts you off in the middle of the uh, tutorial here. Ah, you okay. pick up those remote things and it yeah. tells you how to play the game. Hold B to throw a rolling bomb. Uh, hold long to throw up four bombs at once. To throw up. <laughs> I see. Blah. blah blah blah. That's pretty cool. I can I can throw bombs at the like little bomb chickens. They do look like little chickens, for like you know when they've in like the typical cartoon fashion. Just wait until we see the literal chickens. They will also look like chickens. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, press C up, C right, C left to move the camera angles. Uh, cool. That. It's a good job I, I do remember what I've set that to, because I had forgotten <laughs> for a second. Oh, and I can drop a bomb. Interesting. Uh, place a bomb on the switch, and the floating board will move. You can uh, take a uh, seat down, place the bomb. Yeah. It needs to be on it properly. Oh, your, the explosion is so low at the beginning. Oh, ah, <laughs> yes. Ha ha. Tap the R button or C down twice to do a bomb kick. Um... So, oh, I see. Oh, that's super cool. Okay, I got a token. Huh, looks like a Scooby-Doo emblem, but it's a stripy vest. What? 
it protects you from your own bomb's explosions. Ah, is it like a one-time thing, or is it a... Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it lasts for the level. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ha! Oh. Oh, I, right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was... I thought it meant, hey, destroy that... Destroy that bomb wall. But no. Let's see. Hello, bomber robot. How you doing? <laughs> okay. This is so bizarre because I've never watched anyone else play this game. <laughs> I quite like it, it's interesting. Well, you've only done the tutorial so far, so yes. now the first level actually begins. Well, actually, first we have to watch another cutscene. We must go up the bomber elevator to reach the bomber level. Oh, and there's the bomber meteor. He is angry. No. No no random meteor will destroy my home. Except that's exactly what's gonna happen. Do you know what? This you I'm I'm assuming you played the game. Um because you mentioned it in your uh your PlayStation Classic video, so you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. This music is giving me major Ape Escape 1 vibes. Yes, yes. That's true. I'm really liking the soundtrack so far. Yeah, it's a really good soundtrack too. Ha! Destroyed the evil robot! Yeah, yeah I just think cool. this game is so funny because it's like something that Bomberman never did before and he's like never done it since. There's yeah, of course so also it's... Bomberman Tournament for the Game Boy and also a Japanese only Bomberman Jetters game mm. that tries to be like a. Uh, a Zelda game? So, oh, Bomberman's okay. actually had some crazy spin-offs over yeah. the years. Which I actually prefer more than just normal Bomberman, which I find is a little bit slow. I also am terrible at normal Bomberman, if I'm being honest. I uh, <laughs> I bought the Switch version intending to cover it uh, when it when it launched. Um, I was like, oh yeah, it's a new game, it's a good opportunity, it might do well as a series, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I was truly, truly awful at it. Um, which I learned the hard way by spending lots of money on it by buying it in America. Cause, really? Yeah, the uh, the game uh, the game came out uh, later in Europe, I think. Um, so the only way I could get it was um, was America and it cost a lot. <laughs> so, oh. but eh, it happens. <laughs> I've I've spent many 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 money on uh, on games which I have either not covered or really really haven't liked um, or have not got any views and that's the way the game works so I'm not that not that all trial and error I guess right <laughs> yeah yeah there's no way of really knowing until you you experiment with different oh oh I see what you mean about the actual chickens Jesus Christ um. <laughs> I right. <laughs> I mean, if you hit it, I think it will explode, and then smaller chickens will come out. <laughs> well, that needs to happen. Excuse me for a that second. That needs to happen. Oh, that's a bounce pad, right? That makes sense. Uh. Wow. Oh. Oh, they're adorable though. <laughs> oh. Let's murder them. Let's murder them all. It just seems so out of place. <laughs> I'm like everything else. That is very odd. How long is this game? Is it five worlds game? long, and as That's you saw, this world was broken up into three areas, with anywhere between like five, I think, to seven or eight levels each. So yeah, that's that's quite good. There's quite a lot to this. I presume the levels aren't massively long. Yeah, that has proven. <laughs> oh, interesting. So there's a certain amount of points per area. Oh, okay. Yeah. So at the end of each level, you get a score between one and five, depending on your ending score of the level mm. uh and if you get five on every single stage you actually unlock a secret final world oh cool that's actually quite innovative for the time actually i really miss when video games gave you rewards for getting 100 percent like i always think back as well to sonic adventure 2 when you get the uh the 3d green hill stage yeah you collect yeah. all 180 emblems but that's just something that's so absent these days. It's like, okay, you beat everything. Buy our DLC. <laughs> yeah, Mario, Mario kind of does that still. Um, that's true. They always have like the, hey, you've done a, a super difficult challenge. Here's the, here's the the, the final world, um, or the, the the super difficult bonus world. Um, mm -hmm. And 
But yeah, no, I mean, having a bonus world for, for doing everything, that's quite, quite new to game, I would have thought at this point in the game. Like, how, I don't, I'm trying to think of how many games would have done that early on. Um, I think, like, the earliest one I can think of was Apis game? I guess, maybe. <laughs> You're making me want to go play some Apis game. <laughs> it's a great game. Um, I mean, I guess Spyro technically did it as well. Um, that was 99, I think. Yeah, it was 99. Um, mm -hmm. So Spyro had an extra world? I remember... It had an extra like... level. Um, yeah, that's true. I know uh, in the second one, world. if you collect absolutely everything, you get the... Uh... Ultimate fireball, like permanently. Yeah, yeah, no. That's the spiral, cool. the spiral one, you unlock Nasty's loot. Um, so it's not like a challenging level or anything, but it's it's just an extra little bonus level that's available, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think like what other games really did that early. Oh, I don't know if I was supposed to do this that way, but it worked. <laughs> you are excellent. It just Keep going. Go over that wall too. Oh, this okay. game actually has secret exits too. Oh, really? Oh, interesting. This is super rad. Oh, hello. Oh, man, that gem. That gem reminds me of Cooler World. I don't know if that's something you've ever seen before. Uh, no. Or it, it might be a different name where you are, but I don't know what it would be called. It's basically like a puzzle game on PS1 where you play as a beach ball. <laughs> no, I haven't seen that one. It's super cool. You would love it. You would actually love it. It's got a really good soundtrack as well. Um, I'll look into it for sure, but yeah, when I see gems, I definitely think uh, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, I mean, that is like the gem we'll go to, but I mean, like, no, it's just the way that it flashed. Um, mm. No, it's a really cool little puzzle game. Um, it, you, yeah, you basically, you're beachable, you have to get keys, you have to reach the end of, like, the ending tile. It's, it's like a 3D travel round kind of game. It's really, really cool. I think you would genuinely love it. It's on yeah, the you'll PSN have to tell store. me more about it, for sure. It's on the PSN store for PS3. Um, but I... I mean, also you can emulate it. But uh, I don't know... I feel like it has a, a different name in the US and Canada, but I might be wrong. I'm unsure. Because I've heard... I've heard... I swear I've heard someone refer to it as something else, but I cannot remember for the life of me what that name is. They also might have just not known what it was called and described it to me with a different name. I don't remember, it was a long time ago. But, still a good game. Um, it's so weird, there were a number of PlayStation 1 games that had like a different name in Europe for some reason. Yeah, like Tomba yeah. versus Tombi. Yeah. Like, why? <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't know, maybe they thought it was more like, friendly. We, we, like, we Brits can can stand the the raw magnitude of, of a tumba had to be a tumbi bah bah you say the uh, i mean I, I, that's technically like the same with like uh, american marketing in especially on your like your chocolate and stuff your your rappers um i say yours i don't know if it's different in canada but like the rappers are very uh very more like aggressive and sharp uh, whereas ours are quite like simple and and just like playful and stuff um just a random observation i made when visiting <laughs> the americas <laughs> that's fascinating because yeah well, ours, ours are very color uh, like we have very colorful rappers but the the yeah yours no the american ones are sort of just big yellow black text mm, like big chunky text <laughs> very very sharp stuff i don't know Destroy the barrier tower. The wall will disappear. Good. We'll get on that. Um. You just gotta like throw bombs inside there. Oh. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I. I sort of keep forgetting, but I can throw them. I don't know why. Cause you know the game is taught with that immediately, and it's significantly easier to kill things this way, as it turns out. Um. I just like kicking things. No. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't? <laughs> Yay! This is super fun. You're gonna get three. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm. If nothing but consistent. Oh, I missed the secret room. Oh. Yeah, there was a secret exit yeah. in the hyper room that leads there. 
Yeah, interesting. Well, we'll go Skyrim. Well, oh, yeah, I really like the soundtrack. You need a key card to open the exit door. Sweet. I'll get straight on that. Oh, this is Todd Howard's Skyrim. Not. The, I'm looking forward to all the dragons that will be around. <laughs> A very, this level very is jump. where it becomes very easy to fall and die. Yeah, they've, they've added... Um... What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Special effects, because... Plane! Please tell me that this is a plane level. Or there will be one soon. There are flying levels and water levels and all sorts of things. Sweet. Also, that uh, orb that you just picked up, if you press start, it will show oh. all th that all throughout the game, they're hidden in all different levels, and uh, you need to find all of those as well to unlock the secret final so world. since I've missed one, I'm guessing the first one's in the secret one. Or I missed uh, yeah. it earlier on, which is also possible. I feel like I've heard this music before. Like, maybe in, like, a Mario ROM hack, even. Huh. Because, I mean, a lot of a lot of ROM hacks have uh, used custom music. So... There's, there, there there's no one. such thing as a ROM hack anymore that uses the original music. Unless Mario hacking has just evolved so incredibly. Yeah, unless since. it's pure vanilla, and you... Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, unless it's pure vanilla, then maybe, but... Yeah, no, it's... The original music, as as great as it is, it is really, really repetitive to listen to when you uh, when you do enough ROM hacking, mm -hmm. unfortunately, which is a shame. I've been tainted by, by ROM hacking. I, I must listen to all the original stuff. <laughs> oh no. Mario Maker 2, or rather the, the original Mario Maker, definitely kind of took over you know, if someone might desire to ROM hack, I still would love to make a complete new thing someday, but just being able to, you know, make individual levels and share them with people. Mario Maker is so good for that, and I'm really looking forward to the second one. Yeah. Yeah, the second one looks amazing from what they've shown so far. Um, I don't know if you've seen the new screenshots recently. Like uh, not immediately recently, no. There's, uh, there's stuff like Super Mario World has, like, rainbow platforms now and stuff. Um... It, it looks really interesting. They, they're doing a lot more with it. Like, it is it is significantly more uh, from the first game. And I'm hoping the, the levels from the first game will still be accessible. But if not, then that's fair enough. As long as they don't do... Oh, no. Yeah, as long as they don't do what they did with the 3DS version. Which is possibly the most pointless waste of money. That's so weird, huh? It's like, here's Mario Maker on the 3DS. Oh, by the way, we took out the most important feature, which is sharing levels. Yeah, I... Couldn't you share levels via Street Pass or something? And that was it. Yeah, but like... But who uses Street Pass? And like, no one... No one really carries their 3DS around with them, let alone uses Street Pass. And like, with the Anymore. exception of with, with people who maybe go to conventions, some people still do it. I think Chugga Conroy... God damn, I'm bad at this level. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think Chugga Conroy still does. Oh. Wow, I wasn't expecting someone to just be like, the game is over. <laughs> just saying it like it is. Yeah. The harsh reality is that you sucked, Teal, and you have lost, and you must accept that. But yeah, no, it's it's such a such a weird thing. I'm I, I like I, I love the 3DS. I think it's a fantastic console. But I'm I'm glad that it's dying because the Switch has so much more potential. In the beginning, I was sad that the 3DS was going to be disappearing, and I didn't really want it to happen. But after I bought my Switch, there was still like a year or two where Nintendo was releasing way too many games for the 3DS and kind of ignoring the Switch. And then that was the point when I kind of changed my views. I was like, okay, end the 3DS already, and just please focus on this new console that I bought. Yeah, I suppose. Like, I really would have liked if the Luigi's Mansion remake was on the Switch. Instead. Yeah, yeah, that's I wanted that as well. Um, I I understand why. Like, there were some people made compelling arguments, like uh, it would the Luigi's Mansion 2 being on the 3DS, um, and um, 
and uh, some people hadn't didn't have the Switch at that point. It's like, yeah, no, fair enough. I, I get that. There, there are some people who genuinely can't afford to get the Switch, and if they want to play the remake, that that's that's good. Uh, but yeah, it would have been cool maybe if they did it on both or something. But it's also mm -hmm. time and money, and fair enough. Um, but. The Luigi Mansion 3 will be on the Switch, and oh Jesus Christ, these things are horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Big smile. That's gonna kill you me. You can't isn't it? touch water. Okay, I'm but so glad. Thankfully, it's me. not instant death. You just kind of fly out of it. Yes, I'm very glad. But it's not. I thought I was dead. Um. Also, I like the orange kind of line there to like help with the perspective. I did not see the orange line, but fair enough. I did it! I did it! Three points! Consistent! Yes. Hello. It's raining us down. I'll give you the bummer pitch. Does that allow me to throw bombs by any chance? Um, or fly? Okay, that isn't what I was expecting. Bag, it works in the water as well. So you can fly in the water? It's your mission. A UFO just landed on the mountain. As as it does, you know. So Bomberman's a robot, right? Oh, okay, okay is it? I thought it was just an alien dude, but cool. Alright. Oh, maybe I don't know. Maybe... I don't know Bomberman oh. lore. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't either. This is like the most Bomberman I've ever played, is this game. And it doesn't go into his backstory. <laughs> I just thought it was a little alien in a suit, but maybe it's a robot. That could no, be I mean, that makes sense, too. Um, Mega Man has taught me to think everything that ends with man is a robot. Whoa, that is a big world. This is a pretty lengthy game. I'm impressed. It kind of, um, in, like, the respect of, uh, like, uh, the way the levels are sort of so short, it kind of reminds me of um, Super Mario 3D Land for the 3DS. Oh, yeah. Because that was just like short but sweet levels. Mm hmm. Um, but, uh, that. Oh, that's horrifying. I'm. That's not okay. No. No. Please go away. I like how they all, when they die, just break into like particles. Mm. Like different, you know, chunks of, of graphics. Okay. Random question Have you played Gregory Horror Show for the PS2? No, I haven't. Okay, because this looks like Judgment Bot or Judgment huh. Guy, whatever it's called. Like the the, the face of him. Um, it's uh, Gregory Horror Show was a PS. It was a TV series, I think, and then it got made into a PS2 game. And the PS2 game is pretty cool. Um, you basically you you are a guest in a hotel, um, and to leave the hotel, you need to collect souls. Um, from the residents, so you need to work out their patterns each each day and sort of work out what the best way to steal their soul is. It's kind of interesting. It's very hard, but it's it's That's actually really fascinating. It's a really cool game. Um, it is certainly challenging though. Um, it, oh, that's a terrifying crab. Um, yeah, you you have to you you'll get but like if. Once you still steal their soul, they get progressively more angry as the days go on, so they'll chase after you. There's a chef who really... Ah, oh, I'm a failure. Um, you wrecked your, your streak is ruined. But yeah, it's a, it's an interesting game. It's a cooler world, Gregory Horror Show. you got, you got some research to do. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Um, I guess that's where we'll end it for now, because we've, we've done a, a solid world, and, and we, we've checked out the place, and though this might be a new type of level. In fact, it is. There's a bomber marine. We'll check this out quickly. Okay. Go. <laughs> if you like the music of this game, you'll like the underwater music. Excellent. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Oh, this is so Ape Escape. Actually, I'm getting a mix of like Ape Escape and Sonic Colors. I, oh yeah, I love Sonic Colors. I really wish it would have been brought to an HD console. I think it would look beautiful in HD. Yeah, yeah, it would. Did you um? Did you like um? Oh, I can't remember what it was. The Dinosaur Planet in um Son uh, not Sonic uh in Mario Odyssey, aka Planet Wisp. <laughs> it looks identical. The color, like the the like 
me metallic mechanical platforms are the exact same like material and the exact same color it is it is shocking how they somehow didn't get sued <laughs> like it is incredible how similar they are i guess it's because it's not the exact same level but whatever like it, they look the exact same it's very very funny i definitely see that connection now that you mention it and i do i really like sonic colors i think it was a really cool idea mm, and yeah yeah it's it's a shame that the wisps are just in everything now though because that's true they oh jesus no i don't like you You're, 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 a, you're a big boy. You need to die now. <laughs> Why are you not dying? Last well, year, yeah, you're gonna get hit by your own explosion. Oh. And that's how we'll end. <laughs> All right. Yay, we died. This is super cool, though. I thank you for suggesting this. This is a rad game. I, I like oh, it a lot. Oh, thank you. I'm happy you had fun. I did.